have Chef Tom back again from Tom's Table. Um, you're going to a holiday party. Oh my gosh, what do I make? Uh, we've got the perfect, light, delicious appetizer for you guys to take with. Uh, shrimp toast. Very, very easy. Very, very Christmassy. <laughs> so, uh, Texas toast, okay? It's the, uh, it's just the thick white bread. Packaged Texas toast. Hand me that so I'll show them. Absolutely. All right. Texas toast. It's, a, it's your vessel. It's your vessel to carry the appetizer. So, a half a stick of melted butter. Megan, just start spreading butter on this, uh, on the slices. Little, little one, but they're called, um, uh, amuse-bouche, uh, French slang term for, uh, what is it? Taste tickler. Taste tickler. It means uh, a one or two biter, right? One or two biter. So this is the perfect amuse-bouche for your holiday party. So, um, let's stop there for a minute. Let's put it all together and then, uh, let's do it. we've got... Let's do the cream cheese. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix that with two egg yolks. Lemon juice. Let me make sure I got all this right. A teaspoon of lemon juice, two egg yolks. Uh, a quarter cup diced red pepper. Here. Sure. What else do we got? Quarter cup of scallions. Diced real fine. And then we've got a cup and a half of, uh, I bought raw shrimp, cooked them, sliced them, just dice them. Chop them real fine, because it's all going to be together. Um, touch of salt. I like Morton kosher salt. Touch to bring that together. And for a little kick, just a touch of uh, cayenne ground red pepper, cayenne pepper. So you can go back to that, and we'll just mix this together. It smells very fresh. It does smell very fresh. And uh, it's a very light appetizer to eat. Mm -hmm. It's going to look beautiful on a piece of toast because of all the different colors. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So when these cook for 20 minutes, also in a 325 degree oven, 20 minutes once we get these mixed together. So it's not too time consuming either. No. You can make this on Christmas morning for your party. Yep. Yep. And if you uh, want, you can make this the night before your your mix and just let it sit overnight. Cut your bread in the morning and you're good to go. But as you see, even with us doing it like this, we're going to be having appetite, a real nice appetizer out in less than seven minutes, would you say? Sounds easy enough. And like I said, it cooks for 20 minutes, so... Man, does that smell good. It does smell very good. And of course, with this, after I get these in the oven, we, we're going to make ourselves a Christmas cocktail to go with it. Um, go ahead, a little explanation about that. Well, sure. Okay. Well, every year on Christmas Eve, we always go to my aunt and uncle's house, and we have our Christmas Eve celebration. And we always have a specialty Christmas cocktail, something that's very festive for the holidays, something light and refreshing that we can have a few of while we're playing games and eating our appetizers. So we crafted one of those for you guys today to go with the beautiful shrimp toast. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to let you sure. show everybody that while I start piling on the shrimp toast. Sounds good. So I'll put that there. We're, we're done with this, yes? Yeah. Okay. And now, all right. All right. So what I have here is three cups of cranberry juice, a very Christmassy color. Yep. Half a cup of vodka. For a <laughs> To help you get through all of your family gatherings. <laughs> the juice of about half a lemon. Yep. To give it a little zing. And then we're going to chill this ahead of time in the fridge. And right before you serve it, you can open this uh, sparkling wine. We're using Prosecco. You can use a cava as well. Um, and right before you serve it, 
and get one of these open and serve it while it's still bubbly. That's the best part. All yours, baby. Beautiful. Pour this in to give it the bubbles. About half a bottle, whatever finishes off your pitcher. Now see with the shrimp toast, we're going right. I got a little ice cream scoop. Boom. Right on top. That does look like a good one biter. Pop it right in your mouth. Doesn't it? Wash it down with some cranberry spritzer. How about pouring us a couple? Absolutely. And what are we going to use for garnish? We're going to use a cranberry. Fresh cranberries? Yep. Stay in the season, right? Yeah, make everything fresh. All right. And they're best when served immediately after this. Yeah. Because it won't uh, last very long because, you know, you got your sparkling wine. So these are going pretty fast. See how easy these are? And here I've got 30 appetizers. Right? Is that how many I have there? It looks like 30. About that. It'll feed a whole house full. Yes, it will. If you don't have someone like me that hoards them and eats six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would be a good compliment to the chef. It would indeed. All right, we're almost done here. Like I said, these are going to cook for 20 minutes, 325. Get all That toast is going to get all golden brown. They're going to be really nice. And I can't wait to taste that cocktail. Looks good to me. Yes, it does. All right. All of our Christmas colors, Christmas flavors. Yep. Two more. That's it. Boom. Done. Perfect. Man, that good. tastes good. I like it. All right. 325. 20 minutes. Shortbread looking good. Another one down. Another one down. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.